Hi there, if you'd like to know how to make a custom thumbnail for your YouTube videos, stay tuned, watch this very short video and I will show you exactly how. Hi there, David Walsh here once again from davidwalshonline.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a custom thumbnail for your YouTube videos. Now this is one of the most popular questions I get on my YouTube channel for people who want to add custom thumbnails onto their videos but just don't know how. Now before we get there make sure you have enabled custom thumbnails on your videos and if you haven't done so already click on the link here to watch the other video or the link in the description below and you will see how you can enable custom thumbnails on your YouTube videos. Once you have that done then we're going to go over to the computer now and I'm going to show you how to make your custom thumbnails so that you can add them to all your YouTube videos. Okay so here I am inside Adobe Premiere. This is the software I use to edit my videos. So what I do is I can export a slide or an image from my video and then I bring that into my custom thumbnail. Now the size of your custom thumbnail should be 1280 by 720. You don't need to go to the full high definition size of 1920 by 1080. 1280 by 720 is more than good enough and that's the size that YouTube even recommends you use as well. So when I find a place that I like so something like that or I could just scroll through or like this one here where it's where it's quite nice looking I've got a smile on my face so I can just export this so I go to file export and I go to media and then I select PNG here and I make sure to unselect export as a sequence because then it'll export every single slide, every single frame from my video. So I just want to do that, then tell it where it's gonna go, and then click on save, then click on export. So once I have this image exported, I can then bring it into Photoshop and then I can add my text. So I've got my image here, so I'm just going to open with Photoshop. So here is my image now in Photoshop. So I can then take this and then I can add my text. So if I wanted to move myself over, I can just go here, move it over here. Then I'll just add a white background in the back, like so. And then I can add my text. So I like to templatize things. So I'm going to pick an image that I've got already done and I'm just going to copy the text from this over and there I have my text uh, and then I can add change that text to whatever I like a custom thumbnail I just remove this like so and that's a quick way of doing that now one thing you need to do as well as make sure that it's 1280 by 720 is have text that stands out and be visible at small sizes so if I brought this down to a very small size you can see that you can still read that text no matter even if it's only one eighth of the size it is normally so with your thumbnail make sure that it's visible at large and small sizes I recommend that you template everything that you have your thumbnails consistent so that people recognize your brand whenever they see your thumbnails. Now if you don't want to have everything the same then pick maybe three maybe four different styles and if you've got different topics that you talk about in your videos you could have one style per topic. So that's how I create custom thumbnails using the software that I use which is Adobe Photoshop for my graphics and Adobe Premiere for my video. Now if you're looking to use a different piece of software software I don't use any other software than this so I don't know how to do that if you are looking for something then do a quick search on YouTube there are plenty of video tutorials available for you if you can't export a frame from your video software then what I recommend is you use a solid color on your background 
And now whatever color that you use, make sure that your text stands out from that color so it's visible, especially at small sizes. So there you go. That's how you quickly and easily make custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos. And as you can see, you can use any image creation software, whether it's free or paid for, to create your thumbnails however you want. And if you're looking for software, just do a quick search for image creation software in Google and you'll easily find plenty to choose from. Now, if you found this video helpful or you have a question about this or anything else to do with YouTube, make sure to stick your comment or question in the comments area below and I will do what I can to help you get that question answered. Like, favorite and share this video and if you think this was helpful for people you know, make sure to share on social media, Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus as well to get this video out there and help other people. If you haven't done so already and joined the many thousands of people who enjoy videos on this channel, click on the all red subscribe button right there and get more videos like this every Tuesday. Make sure to click on the all red subscribe button right there because when you don't, the kiddies just aren't loved. Once you've watched this video, make sure to click on one of these other videos down there or in the links in the description below to see more videos like this to help you with your YouTube channel. My name's David Walsh and I want to thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye for now. And you know that since you didn't click on the subscribe button, no one's gonna love those kitties. No, no, you do good, you? No. They're not gonna love the kitties. No. You need to click on the subscribe button. I don't love the kitties. They will. <laughs>